Okay, all right. So thank you guys all for joining this class today. Um, this is the class that I had taught earlier in the year. I added some more information to it. Typically this time of year is when our luxury affiliates uh, add more to their, um, to their programs and release their 2021 uh, media kits. So I added a couple of new things on here for you guys. But this is a marketing plan checklist. And now is the perfect time for you guys to be thinking, already be thinking about 2021 and what that looks like. I know that we had a crazy year this past year, but um, a lot of these things can definitely be done um, very easily for you guys and um, can be executed minimally, if not free, um, to um, your business plan for next year. Um, I put in the chat box here, um, just so you guys can have it, is the presentation. I also put the, um, the one sheet or the marketing resources checklist that I'm, that I'm basing this presentation off of, as well as the new luxury affiliate resource guide. So I will be jumping back and forth and referencing the guide because that is really where I want to drive you guys to uh, for all of these resources. And then that checklist is really great, just as a one sheeter to save on your phone, just to kind of have as a reminder when you're going to these presentations. So please look at that and download that. All right, let me go to the next slide. Hang on just a second, why is it not moving? Alex, did you say you place those links in the chat? Yes, do you, do you see them? I do not see them in my chat window. I placed it, I popped those in there earlier before everyone logged in. That may be the reason why. Yeah. I think that if you logged in afterwards, nothing shows up from the previous. I'm, I'm happy to pop to put those back in there. Right. Thank you. I don't see them either. Thank you. <laughs> Let me see here. We have to get to the chat. Okay, hang on just a second. There we go. It just jumped, it's jumping around. All right. Let me, give me just a second. Let me put these in the chat box really quickly for you guys. Um, I want to make sure that you've got, you're able to reference these. All right, hold on just a second. Patience with me. Um, libraries, desktop, hang on just a second. Here's the resource guide for you guys. And let me grab the downloads, hang on just a second. Here's the presentation. Are you guys seeing that come through? Somebody? Yes, thank okay. you. Thank you guys for your patience. I'm just wanna get this all to you guys. And then there's a marketing one cheater that is what I'm basically, like I said, this chat off, this um, presentation off of. Okay, let's get going. The, um, so in, the, in this presentation, we're gonna cover uh, several things. We're gonna cover um, agent websites, the importance of agent websites and the importance of you guys putting all of your information into those sites, your bio is, I cannot stress that enough. I was um, at a presentation very recently and the one thing that one of the first things that the client said at the presentation was, well, you know, agent so-and-so, I did a little bit of research last night before I met with you and I noticed that you didn't have your bio um, or any information about you and your, you know, your years of service and your, your history and your work and your working career. And it stopped the agent in the tra his tracks. And I guarantee you that night he had stuff uploaded into these different platforms. So that's very important. Um, and I, I will say this in every presentation that if you can't market yourself, how can you market me? And that will cost you a listing. Um, talking about toolkit CMA, that's important to understand that. The MIA marketing program, which is fabulous. Great response from agents over, the, over this past year. CRM campaigns, negotiated advertising rates that we have set up for you guys. The importance of social media, our new home magazine, how to utilize that and leverage that for um, in presentations and gaining new prospects. 
how to run website traffic analytics from Harry Norman or Christie's or Luxury Portfolio, Luxury Real Estate, and how to, how to review them and send them to your client, discuss them. Um, the different websites for automatic listing syndication that are provided through Harry Norman or our luxury affiliates. New listing automated emails, the Insta List program, which I hope you guys are using, that is really taken off and has, has been very successful so far. Our wonderful mobile app, since we're all out there walking around and driving around, share that with your clients so they can look at properties that are around them in these neighborhoods that they love to be in. The company newsletters, how to um, sign up, send that out, utilize that. We have two, we have a monthly newsletter and they have a luxury newsletter that I'm actually working on today at this presentation. So it's important to know all of these tools that are at your fingertips and how to utilize them, find them and leverage them to set yourself apart from the others in the market. All right. I apologize, I'm having a hard time getting it to go to the next page. All right, so this is that marketing one sheeter that I'm talking about that I put in the chat box for you guys. And it is a very large file. Um, it's hard to print, but it is, and it's a lot of information quite frankly, but the importance of this is for you guys to know all that we offer. And that's which is why I have Harry Norman listed on there, our luxury affiliates, standard price points, premium at the $500,000 threshold plus, and the luxury $1 million threshold. So this one sheeter is really a good resource for you guys to review and familiarize yourself so that you can discuss some of these top tools with your clients at the presentation. And then once you are finished, you've, you've won the listing and you go live, then you're aware of what you need to do to activate um, what's automatic and what you need to do to really kick this listing off and get it maximum exposure through the different channels and the marketing opportunities. All right, so the standard tier in this, which is all price points, which is done automatically through Harry Norman, um, and th that we offer exclusively through Harry Norman, is your listing, once it goes into MLS, FMLS, GMLS, wherever you guys are, it is automatically listed onto harrynorman.com and the syndicated websites. So within a, I would say within a 24 hour turnaround, you should be live on those various platforms that we send a direct feed through to. We have a relationship with Zillow and Trulia uh, where we send correct information to them so it, so it stays um, accurate as possible, which a lot of other firms do not. But within 24 hours, it's very important for you guys to go to those websites and make sure that everything transferred appropriately. You've got the best images and high, high resolution. The content is correct about the listing. Nothing is missing. Um, it's important. The website traffic analytics are available through your CRM. So once it's on those various websites and it's being driven back through harrynorman.com, you want to start to run those, those traffic analytics so you can look at how the property is performing online and then communicate that appropriately to your clients so that they can understand what we are doing for them. And also too, it gives you a dialogue with these clients about Maybe it's overpriced and it's not trending well, or maybe it needs to be virtually staged, or the numbers can speak for themselves and can, can hopefully give you guys the conversation with the client about, you know, based off the numbers to adjust certain things with the listing. I encourage you guys um, with Harry Norman, um, the website is to enable your blog function. Anything that you post online through the website um, especially a blog will elevate your SEO, which is search engine optimization. We pay a lot of money every year annually to keep our website um, operable and um, in the best placement possible. So we offer a blog function through your website on, on your agent landing page where you can go in and you can blog daily, multiple times throughout the day, once a week, once a month. Every time you blog, it bumps you up on search engines and gives you a higher rating, a higher score. We provide so much information through the company, through in the news, buzz topics, um, these um, 
network and these market st statistics for you to blog about, write about it. The luxury affiliates provide so much information for you guys to write about. And it doesn't have to be long and lengthy. You don't have to be a writer. But the more you use that function, the more you will pop up in search engines um, across the web. Okay, so that is, I can't stress how important that is, but it is up to you. But I will say, if you're going to start that, you want to maintain it. So don't just blog and then not go back on a, on a consistent basis and keep that rolling because that does reflect, can, can reflect negatively on you. Consider digital and print property advertising options. We have a lot of great relationships with publications throughout Atlanta, Georgia, uh, countrywide, globally where we have set negotiated rates with them. This is also offered through our luxury affiliates. So take advantage of those. I write an advertising guide every year that is suggested publications that we work with and we have these rates through. So now is the time to begin to look at those rates and dates and plan out your 2021 goals. I will tell you, uh, but print specifically, some publications, um, require you to submit your content to them very early on. For example, we've already, we've already submitted our December content for Atlanta Homes and Lifestyles. So you wanna understand you know, the frequency of these publications so you can plan accordingly, because what you don't want is to promise your client you're going to advertise in a quarterly publication or a biannual or annual publication and miss that deadline. That can cost you the relationship. So uh, take advantage of that, look through those and familiarize yourself. Send client and prospects copies of the home magazine. Well, our home magazine drops in a couple of weeks. It's gonna be a, um, a, a, a um, updated special edition for our 90th year. I've seen the preview of it, it looks fantastic. Those will be sent to clients directly as well as to your office. So when those do drop, I encourage you guys to grab copies of those and um, get them to your, your clients, your prospects. One thing I've always told agents is to, um, Create a letter, a, an introductory letter inside and, and slide it inside of the home magazine, kind of about yourself and your brand, your market, whatever you want to put in that and drop that letter off, drop that magazine off at a local dealership like Mercedes of Buckhead or your law office, your dentist office, somewhere where you could source warm leads where you have a relationship and then put a call to action on that letter saying, if you enjoy this complimentary copy, please send me an email and I will add you to my distribution list. I have, I have recommended this for years to agents, and I cannot tell you how many agents have said, what a great idea. This has gotten me several, several uh, prospects, clients, just by the, by the home magazine. It's a non-salesy approach, okay? Sign up your clients, receive the company newsletter. That can be done through the CRM. Drew teaches a class on how to do that. That is very easy, and um, it's great content. Utilize the MIA program. It provides, uh, I think it's 38 different um, pieces of collateral from social media to e-blast content to brochures. There's a whole list of, of pieces that the, the MIA program creates for you guys automatically within um, hours of you listing it on through, through MLS. And, it's, and it's, it's automatic. You don't have to do a lot to it. So sometimes we get busy and our marketing coordinators are are slammed with you know all these requests. This program does most of that for you. So definitely familiarize yourself with that program. Um, also with social media, it's good to consider invest, investing in a paid social media campaign. That is where it is at guys, social media. It's on Instagram, it's on Facebook, it's on Pinterest, it's on LinkedIn. Um, it's not going away, it's not a fad. 5.5 uh, billion accounts are are on Facebook are on Instagram currently. So everyone's on Instagram. I will tell you for me specifically, I can't speak for others, but when I, when I meet someone, I typically go and I look them up on social media directly just to see who they are, how do they live, what do they post, what's their personality like. Um, so it's important for you guys to familiarize yourself with, pay, with social media and paying for ads is more important now than ever because there's so much going on right now. Oh my gosh, it's a fly on my head. <laughs> There's so much going on on social media right now that um, paying for it and having a strategic campaign can really benefit you. And it's very affordable and it allows you to really target a preferred audience that you, you feel is, is, is a good fit for your types of listing and your brand, okay? 
Um, InstaList. We offer InstaList. It is a new program. I think we've had that within the last under six months, maybe even three months, where you can post your coming soon listing information. It is a network, kind of almost like a dating app for, for listings for real estate and allows you to put your coming soon information in there. And I will tell you, a lot of agents are getting um, these homes sold before they even hit the market through this InstaList program. So definitely take advantage of that. That is um, a really great, really great app that you can get on your phone. All right, so these are the things that we're talking about, the client marketing materials. These are available through the CRM. If you've not familiarized yourself with that, we've had it for a couple of years. If you're a newer agent, definitely tune in to some of the classes that are offered through Career Services. It is a really great uh, program plat platform for you guys to, um, to look into. All right, so. What is being offered at the luxury affiliate level through a third party um, affiliation we have with Mayfair International Realty. They are based out of London. They are really wonderful. Annette and Nick, some of you may have met them when they've come into town. We posted some meetings with them. They are willing to do just about anything to help you assist you sell your listing and get visibility. Um, they are what we consider our London office. If you are in town in London, um, you are welcome to set up a meeting with them. You are welcome to meet with clients at their office. Stop by and charge your phone, print. Um, I know that our very own Luke Trigwell from marketing, corporate marketing, he uh, met with them, Annette and um, Kirsty, there in London, and they took him to high tea. What they'll do for you is they'll send a client letter um, if you have a, uh, a listing that you need a little bit of extra visibility. They will send a considering listing, considering listing as an agent, recently listed, or they'll construct a letter that's very personalized for you. Um, they're really flexible. You send an email uh, with the details to um, Kirsty at Mayfair office, and they'll set it up for you. Window marketing, um, if you, this sounds old school and grassroots, but it does make an impact on some of your clients. They have a window in the front of their office in London where they have properties that are hanging in the window. And they will, um, if you send them a high res image of the property and the link to the, to the listing, they will, <laughs> they will um, print it off and they'll hang it in the window. And they'll take a picture and they will send it through to your clients um, as a promotional tool. It, you know, guys, between us on this call, it does sound a little old school and cheesy, but I, I will tell you, clients eat that up and they love that. Um, it's just such a great, to see their property hanging in a window in the hottest part of London in a real estate firm is, is golden for them. So very easy. Just to back up for Mayfair, um, to clarify, there is no price threshold to be on their website. So once you list your property through Harry Norman, um, it gets fed through to Mayfair directly and it's on their website. So there is no threshold of price, even though we do consider them a luxury affiliate. They market all properties at all price points. Okay. In talking about feature opportunities, Mayfair sends out weekly property feature themes. So if, if it's a, a garden theme or a pool or a, um, an, a work from home office kind of theme, or it's a whatever it is, equestrian property, uh, Annette sends out weekly property features. You should be receiving them in your email automatically. Um, your marketing coordinator is, uh, so check with them if you're not, or let me know and I'll add you to the list. And they're just simply asking for you to submit content. They work with all the publications, most a lot of the publications in Europe and Asia. Uh, one of the main ones that they work with is Country Life UK and Financial Times. So they're always looking for content. And a lot of times we get published. And what they'll do is if we do get um, published in one of the magazines or newspapers or wherever it is, they will send a physical copy of that magazine that's been earmarked, which I will then, of course, send to you that you can forward to your clients. So I encourage you guys to familiarize yourself with Mayfair, especially if you're in those lowest, lower price points uh, for smaller properties, condos, whatever it may be. They are an affiliate that will work really hard for you guys. And if you need something that they don't necessarily offer, to reach out to them directly or, or I will do it for you. And let's create some kind of opportunity for you guys. I'm happy to, to assist with that. Are there any questions so far? I want to make sure that I'm asking, answering any questions that are popping up. Okay, everybody's good, looks like. All right, feel free to pop something in the chat box. I'm happy to answer questions and stop. This is a casual meeting and we're here to help each other out. So just let me know if there's anything that, any hot topics you want me to cover. Moving on. 
premium tier starting at $500,000 and above. This, this is um, a pretty easy price threshold to meet within the Atlanta metro area. Um, these will be bigger homes, typically outside of the perimeter. But these are, these are things that Harry Norman does for you guys automatically at that price point. It's listed on harrynorman.com. We talked about that. And it gets fed through the syndicate websites. You're available to run traffic analytics. I would encourage you guys to utilize the blog function. Talk about your property. What makes it fantastic? What is notable about it? What's your favorite feature? Uh, put it in the home magazine. There's great options. The threshold of price is, is 500,000 plus, so put it in the magazine. Consider, consider digital and print property advertising options. You know, check out that ad guide that I spoke to you about earlier. There are a lot of great opportunities and very affordable. And the good thing about digital is it's trackable. You get analytics typically from these ads from the various publications. You can request them. So that's definitely something that you can um, measure when uh, measure print versus digital. Send your clients uh, copies of the home magazine. Whether you're in it or you're not, send a copy of the home magazine. It's fabulous. It, we've been doing this for well over 10 years. It's award winning. Uh, we do, a, we, you know, we are one of very few in the market that do a home magazine, to publish it, self-publish. And it's definitely something to be proud of. So send it to your clients. List your property. Your property gets listed automatically through MIA, providing you social media content. Post, uh, social media post content, e-cards, print collateral. So go into that program, download those, get those out the door. And then, like I said in the previous, uh, previous slide, consider a paid social media campaign. So take the best parts of that listing, post it on Instagram or Facebook, throw 10, 15, $20 behind it, set yourself a three to five day range and let, send it out there, get it out to your audience. It targets, paying paid social media targets people that are, that are interested in, in themes around real estate, whether it is interior design, it's um, home furnishings, shopping around for home furnishings, moving, real estate, relocation, whatever. So it really helps you to target those viewers. We've all been on Instagram and Facebook, you know, especially over this last year with being quarantined. So you've seen the ads that pop up. Well, that's exactly what it is. I can, I can say from personal experience, I have bought stuff off of Instagram. And the reason being is because it helps me, it, it curates the content to my, my search trends on my device, whether it's my laptop or my phone, so. Okay. Is there a question? I hear where I'm, someone's unmuted themselves. Is there a question? Alex, can I ask a question? Absolutely. Do you, um, in terms of doing Instagram ads, do you recommend more based off of listings or make more based off of personal um, promotion marketing? It really depends on on what you're trying to accomplish. I think that I think that um, a good mix is 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 it's good for everybody. I mean, I follow you personally, Rachel, so I know what you're posting. You're very interactive with your your audience, posting questions and um, polls of whether you like this room or that room. You know, the point of it is again baseline is to be social. Okay, so I think it's a little bit about your listings. It's a little bit about listings in general, things that you have access to. So posting some things through Christie's, there's nothing wrong with posting beautiful properties that are in the market that are listed by other firms, giving them some credit. You know, I think it's curating the message that you are plugged in, you are out there, you're, you're, you know what's going on in the market, you know what's available as far as inventory, you're educated on, on these resources and tools. And that's, that's kind of my thoughts on how you can really leverage social media to your advantage. Uh, for a return. Um, does that answer your question? I think a mix is kind okay. of- Okay, and, and have you seen a better response? I mean, I've done ads, originally I did them just for listings on like open houses and listings and things of that nature on Facebook. Sure. Which fed into Instagram because they're owned by the same company. Correct. But I'm wondering, and I don't know if you guys have seen this from the Harry Norman, like the home side, is there a um, better reach to do it on Instagram versus Facebook or- how do you guys see the analytics side of that? Well, keep in mind that Facebook and Instagram are two different vehicles, even though their own Facebook owns Instagram. You know, Instagram is about high-res, beautiful images. It's about it reaches a global audience through hashtags, through tagging. You know, you don't have to follow someone to look at their content on Instagram. 
to be on Facebook, you have to follow that person or be their friend or like their page. So Instagram is a global platform. So when you're talking about paid content or content in general, we get different levels of, of, of engagement on each platform because one, you know, when we put in the hashtags luxury real estate on Instagram, it's going out to billions of people that follow that luxury real estate or homes or real estate or whatever the hashtag is versus if we put it on our Instagram, our Facebook page, rather, we have 27,000 uh, likes or followers on our Facebook we're only, going to, we're only going to be in front of those people. And the algorithms these days are so tight on Facebook that a lot of them aren't seeing it. Like, for example, me personally, I don't see any paid advertising that we get from, from our Facebook page. And I'm as close to Harry Norman as we, I possibly can be. I mean, you know, our brand is all over everything I do. So it's just the algorithms are weird and they're very different. So I personally, as my, if you want my personal opinion, I think it's, I think you'll get more activity and more visibility through Instagram. If you are posting the right content, which again, they don't, Instagram recommends you not, you not put more than 20% text or copy on your images. It is basically a, a board for beautiful imagery is all that it's meant to be. Keep your copy in the captions. Did that answer your question, Rachel? Yes, thank you. Sure, cool, thanks for asking. All right, guys, any other questions? We're gonna move on. So luxuryrealestate.com, this is a top tool that we offer at the $500,000 price point as one of our luxury affiliates. You get an agent profile automatically. So whether you, um, whether you, you, you know this or not, it's important for you to go and log in for the first time, set that up, add your bio, your headshot, your social media handles, it is a really great website to, and it has a lot of visibility. And the reason why it gets so much traffic is because the name of luxuryrealestate.com is literal, luxury real estate. And when you go and search luxury real estate, they pop up. What sets us apart from others in the market that have the luxury real estate affiliation is that we're Board of Regents members, which is exclusive to Georgia. So there is actually a, a website that um, regents.com that your $1 million plus properties will be hosted on. But for the intents and purposes of this conversation, luxuryrealestate.com's threshold is $500,000. Your listings will automatically feed through to them as, 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 as it does, but I encourage you guys to go in and check the listing to make sure that you've got um, everything filled in, you didn't lose any images, you check the features box, you add your video in there, high-res images, high-res high files, basically, so that it'll help it help the SEO for those property for that listing. Um, Twitter, luxury real estate. You may or may not know this, which is why I bring this up. Twitter, uh, their Twitter account is luxre, and they have I think twenty-seven thousand followers on Twitter. Everyone that it, of course has a listing on the luxuryrealestate.com website is able to log into the, the exchange for luxury real estate, go to their listing, and they can tweet their listing out automatically onto the Twitter, onto the luxury real estate's Twitter feed. I will tell you that this gets you um, just one more added value for your clients. Let me see what we got, I have a question. Oh yes, of course, thank you, thank you, Anthony. Um, um, this gets you a little bit added value when you're when you're putting your client's listing out in front of 27,000 followers. That's a that, there's a monetary value to that. It's not just a post. It's going out to eyeballs that are dialed into real estate. They're clearly following that account. So go in and do that and put a value on that. To put that in perspective, if we were to advertise, put a put a post on say. With the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Twitter feed, it's about $1,000 for us to pay to have them post something. So keep that in mind when you have those, that, that much visibility that there is a monetary value to that. I have a question here from Ariel. When sharing our listings on social, do you prefer us to share with h and IDX or SEO or Lux Visibility? I think we answered that. You know what, honestly, Ariel, you can, I, I, we would prefer you to share it from Harry Norman just to drive traffic back to the website um, as a backlink. But you know, if you wanna share your listing from Christie's, Luxury Real Estate, whomever you want to share that from, that we're, we're you know, that's, the point of it is, is get your listing out there. So I think that's, that's, that's my rule of thumb on that. 
Um, Anthony popped a question in here about blogs, and I'm glad he brought that up because he is actually the only agent in the company besides me um, that posts on the luxury real estate blog page. Um, and it gets a lot of traffic and a lot of visibility, and it's very easy to do. Anthony doesn't always post listings that he actually has. He posts in buildings that he's sold in or has a relationship with. Very easy to do. He hyperlinks the copy and the text um, in the blog post, and it links right back to his, his website. Um, for further information, go to um, the luxuryrealestate.com blog page, and you'll see Anthony has posted something actually today about a listing. It's a great traffic driver to his website, so look into that. That's great visibility, and thank you, Anthony, for bringing that up. Digital property and promotion packages. These are available at a cost. They're not, they're not um, complimentary, but they are, they're available if you wanna throw some money at that. They're very targeted. There are some really great rates that um, luxury, portfolio, luxury real estate has put together for you. These are available um, if you log into the lounge for luxury real estate or if you look at the advertising guide. Um, I think digital is very targeted. It allows you to select your audience uh, different demographics that you're looking to reach out to, and they'll provide you with traffic analytics, which I think is very helpful and gives you um, sound bites of information to share with your client. So it's very, very important uh, for you to familiarize yourself with that. Any more questions on luxury real estate? We got everybody covered. Okay. I'm going to move on. So in talking about um, the luxury tier at $1 million plus, Harry Norman Realtors, obviously, the listing goes live on our website, and it automatically feeds through to our syndicated, you know, our luxury affiliates and our syndicated websites. Again, you know, I would suggest, as we spoke about a few minutes ago, I repeat myself with this because I want some, some people dial out because they only work within a 500000 or $1 million threshold. So I repeat these opportunities to make sure that you're aware of them. Um, but... To consider a paid social media campaign, especially at the million dollar plus threshold, that means the home is typically pretty large. It's got some great features and assets to it. Um, so I think it would be important for you guys to throw, to allocate $100 at minimum, $100 maximum even, $100 at that level to advertise on those social media platforms and drive traffic. It is a great way to get people to go to your profile, your Harry Norman website, whatever your call to action is, and, and to consider paid social media. Um, also too, at the million dollar price point, we offer social media feature opportunities on the company's H and Realtors Instagram and Facebook account. I manage those opportunities. So if you have a beautiful listing um, at the one and a half plus price point, unless it's extraordinary right at the million dollar, send them all to me and I will, um, I will work with you on what the best avenue is. But for example, we have on Mondays, I do a Mansion Monday feature. Wednesdays, we do Wine Wednesdays and some other themes. Fridays, I typically like to feature properties in um, our Northern Georgia, lakefront properties, mountain properties, uh, to kind of motivate those, those um, secondary home uh, clients. So if you've got a beautiful property, send it to me. I'm happy to review it and um, consider it for a post. Also, to what I what I work with, and so does Luke Trigwell. We work with our PR firm, 360 Media, and um, we like to know if you've got a notable property, a celebrity angle, or it's got some extraordinary feature to the home. Send it my way, even if you're not 100% sure. Just pop it into our PR. Uh, um, submission form, which can be found on uh, my HR office, or it can also be found on harrynorman.com slash public relations or PR. Uh, pop it into that form or email me directly and we'll look through it and we'll let you know what we can do. I mean, there's a lot of times we're able to get coverage. Our PR firm works with us, works with the publications, the Atlanta Business Chronicles, Agent Atlanta Magazine, Interiors Magazine, Atlanta Homes and Lifestyles, close to 50 different publications that are looking for content. So we do, we do ask that you send us your, your incredible stories for us to submit. Um, with this luxury tier, there are home magazine advertising options. I would definitely encourage you guys to submit your properties uh, for full page or full double page spread in the, in the magazine. That's a very affordable way to get great visibility. And everybody wants to see themselves in their home in print. So definitely look at that, that for the spring issue uh, to come out next year. Advertising luxury lifestyle print and digital publications. 
there are a lot available um, that we have negotiated rates. So go again, check out the ad guide for those opportunities. Um, when creating your, your collateral, your marketing pieces, I really, at this price point, you really got to think about the lifestyle of that client when you're developing your brochures, your property postcards, your newsletters, whatever that, you're, that is you're creating. It needs to be consistent, but think about the lifestyle of that home and that type of buyer and seller. So you really want to elevate your marketing with your, your imagery, your videography, drone media, your, your, your copy that you write. Write more from a, less from a five bedrooms, five baths, hardwood floors, granite countertop standpoint to a, how would this house be used you know, for events and parties and lifestyle and um, you know, privacy in the neighborhood, um, access to the country club or golf course or the private airport, PDK or whatever is around you, whatever is around that house as an asset. So when you're creating your content for this tier, this price point of a million plus, be thinking about that, how you can, you can word and design your your marketing materials. Um, utilize the luxury affiliates for social media. So if you have a beautiful um, property that you want, submit it, submit it uh, to Christie's Luxury Portfolio, Luxury Real Estate uh, to be considered for featuring. Um, I also encourage you guys to follow, uh, you know, Christie's Luxury Portfolio, Luxury Real Estate, and share some of these global properties. Uh, would be really would be uh, you know great opportunities to connect with firms from around the world. Um, and then invest in paid social media campaigns. I won't go into that again because we've, um, you know, that's, that's been covered, but that's definitely um, an opportunity for you guys to consider. Thank you, Luke, for popping that PR firm form in there. I appreciate it. Um, let's see here. All right, so this is a great slide here that I've just added to the 2021 Luxury Affiliate um, Resource Guide. Everyone wants to know what those syndicated websites are, and these are really great websites to be aware of. So um, based upon the price threshold, um, each website syndicates automatically through to various third-party sites. So Harry Norman, listings are fed to hundreds of affiliated websites. If you want that full list, or at least a, I think it's, it's close to a full list, um, that's available in the toolkit CMA. So you can talk to your clients about those opportunities. Um, with Christie specifically at the million dollar threshold, uh, they automatically send your property through to the Wall Street Journal's real estate section on their website, which is covered through the US, Europe, Asia, and Indian market, the New York Times, US and China. Your listing will be on Mansion Global in those countries, Country Life, US and UK, Zao Bao, which is in, Asia, in the Asian market, and Prop Go Luxury. So when you list your property on, you know, Harry Norman, and it goes through to Christie's, and then it syndicates through to these platforms, take some time to go and seek out these listings, grab the link from where that property is, and share that with your clients. They would, you know, you know from an angle of, this is what I'm doing for you. I'm advertising your properties on these platforms. To be on the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, Mansion Global, weekly, is a, between $350 and $600 to advertise um, on that platform for a week advertisement. We're automatically doing that for you guys as, a, as an affiliate with Harry Norman, um, just, just through our partnerships with Christie's and Luxury Portfolio and Luxury Real Estate. So if you put a value on that, of all these various websites that we're syndicating through to automatically, we're looking between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars a month in advertising that you're getting, your clients are getting automatically through our affiliations and these syndications. Um, Leading RE is our relocation um, website. So, so recently, luxury um, Leading RE is now representing all listing price points. It used to be five hundred thousand dollars. So, your listing is on the Leading RE website. MayfairInternationalRealty.com, like I said earlier, they. Um, it automatically syndicates through to them. They will send your listing, syndicate your listing through to Country Life UK if it is at the $1 million threshold. So that's, that's something to be aware of as well. Luxury Portfolio is $1 million. Mansion Global, GY, Wall Street Journal, Barron's is new for 2020. Leading RE, of course, YouTube, you'll be on their YouTube channel. And then also new for this year is WeChat, which is 
has more visibility, quite frankly, than, than, than Instagram these days. So all of these websites, this is a great document that you are welcome to pull and share with your clients. It's available on my H&R office. Share this with your clients and show them all that we're doing. Uh, because other firms don't have access to this in our market. Sotheby's doesn't have access to even half of these. And uh, neither does Beecham or Dorsey Austin or Ansley Atlanta, whatever. So it's important to show what you are able to do with your clients, for your clients, and what others aren't. Quite frankly, that's, that's just the best. It, it speaks for itself. Are there any questions on this slide? This, one, this, this piece is available, like I said, in my HR office, and it's also available in the new luxury affiliate resource guide that I've put into the chat box. All right, so to talk a little bit more, get a little bit closer view of our luxury affiliates. Um, I wanted, I did a, an individual piece just to kind of talk through it and what some of the resources that they are, that they provide. You all have accounts on Luxury Real Estate um, Exchange. Uh, you're available to, able to log into that through my h &R office, or you can uh, log in directly through their website as an agent. You have an account, you have a profile, they have their, um, they have a dashboard that it, it, it has probably 20 different resources available to you from signing up your clients for newsletters, signing up your clients to their blog, uh, social media handles, um, they've, they've got great training uh, materials and content and videos for you guys. So it's really important for you guys to familiarize yourself with the Luxury Portfolio website because there are a lot of tools in there that are at a very minimal price, if not free, for you guys to, to um, work with and sign your clients up for. The one thing that I, I, um, I think is, is a, such a great opportunity for agents is the co-op co advertising opportunities. So if you have a client that uh, is a uh, diehard Wall Street Journal, New York Times fan, Financial Times fan, you know, gets the paper every morning or every Friday for the mansion section, Luxury Portfolio and also Christie's has co-op supplemented rates available for you guys, as little as 275 for a, um, a block ad in the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal. So, um, as well as they offer listing banner ads, social media sponsored posts. They offer opportunities for you to um, pay to be in their global newsletter that goes out to hundreds of thousands of subscribers. There's a lot of great opportunities through the Luxury Portfolio Program that I encourage you to familiarize yourself with. The link is actually on this presentation. It's also available in the uh, talk, the, um, agent luxury affiliate resource guide. So go in and check those out. They just updated their website. So they've added even more opportunities for you guys to take advantage of. And this is a good time to do that when making, setting your business plan for next year. One thing that you guys, some of your tenured Harry Norman agents on this call would be familiar with is the magazine gift subscriptions. These are really fabulous for prospecting. You're given um, a one year subscription of the luxury portfolio magazine um, at a minimal cost. I think you get the first 10 for free, then the next 10 you get are um, at, a, at a $10 subscription cost. Take advantage of that, guys. That is, um, you go and you log into their website, you enter your client's uh, information, their address, you can type in a short message, and those will automatically send out when the next magazine publishes. The Luxury Portfolio magazine is done twice a year, so it's, it's, it has a, sp has a spring and a fall um, uh, issue, which is already dropped, but now before the end of the year, if you sign up, you'll be, uh, your clients will receive the new issue for 2021 automatically. The Lux Interiors and Design Magazine, I love this magazine. I actually subscribe to it. It's published six times a year. It's about, I think, seven or eight bucks um, cost on the shelves. It is sold at Barnes and Nobles and different retailers. But through Luxury Portfolio, you can sign your clients up for a subscription at $10 for, for six issues. It mails to your clients automatically when the next issue drops with a letter within the poly bag of the subscription that you can custom write um, that just introduces you to your clients and offering this as a gift. We have someone in the chat box. Let's see, we have a chat. Yes, thank you, Anthony. Um, so log into Luxury Portfolio's um, exchange, 
go to their uh, gift magazine subscriptions and you can sign your clients up for that. You get um, an allotted amount per year of these magazines. Once the end of the year rolls off, you get another allotted amount. So now's the time to sign your clients up and then take advantage of the, the, other, um, the other allocation when the year rolls over. So additional exposure. Luxury Portfolio works with hundreds of publications around the world, um, whether it's Elle Decor, Architectural Digest, um, Vogue, real estate publications, you name it, they have a relationship with them. Those publications are always looking for content to write about, extraordinary properties with notable stories, celebrity affiliations. So if you've got a property, like I said earlier, if you have a property with a story, uh, go to the Luxury Portfolio's landing page and submit your content directly to them where they can review it and determine if it is notable for them to publish in their magazine, on their blog, social media, whether it's Instagram or Facebook. Um, they have, you know, they're, they are always working to get us as much coverage as possible. And because of our, our long-standing relationship with, with Luxury Portfolio, nine times out of 10, most of our content we submit to them gets published somewhere, somehow. So that is very um, good exposure and it's at no cost to you guys. The one thing about Luxury Portfolio that I love is their Lux Analytics. It's a user-friendly dashboard um, on the back end of their website in their exchange where you can go into your property and you can run an analytics report. Um, it breaks it down to the country, state, province, um, based upon currency type, language type. Um, it's really informative, very user-friendly. It's a great report. This is a great tool for you to, to run and review. It gives you great talking points if you're trying to Convince your client to lower the price or adjust different things with the listing. Numbers don't lie. And a lot of times, as many of you, many of you will agree, a client, clients tend to think they know where the customers, gonna, they're, they're, the buyer is going to come from, whether it's Ch Chinese buyers or it's European or it's from New York or it's a movie industry. So a lot of these reports breaks it down to very localized information where you can show your client, well, sir, they're not really coming from that market. This is who's looking at your property. This traffic report pulls from those platforms like the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, Herald Tribune, those various websites. So those, those third party websites are funneling the information into luxury portfolio for them to run these reports. And it's good information for you guys to, to be aware of. Any questions on luxury portfolio while we're, while we're on this slide? And guys, feel free to mute, unmute yourself and ask, ask live. I'm happy, to, that's probably a little bit easier for all of us. Okay, I'm gonna move on. All right, Christie's International Real Estate. This is a fun one. We are exclusive affiliates of Christie's International Real Estate. We're the only firm in Georgia that is allowed to um, affiliate with Christie's, to utilize their resources, and they are quite fantastic. We've had a relationship with Christie's spanning over almost 20 years. Christie's is an imitation only network that we have to reapply for and submit financials to, re, to um, requalify every year. Uh, the one thing about Christie's is that it is owned by one family. It's a privately owned company. They also, uh, P Francois Pinot is the owner. Um, he also owns a caring group, which is a luxury house that owns brands such as Gucci, Bottega Veneta, Balenciaga. They own Chateau Latour wine, uh, the wine brand. They own Gerard Perigo, Timepiece Company. These are all uber high-end companies and brands that work with that that high net worth individual. The beauty of that and why I bring that up is because by owning those companies, they share that client base. The clients that are buying these multi-million dollar properties are also buying expensive handbags, expensive wines. They're selling and buying and selling art through the Christie's auction house. So their tagline is the synergy between art and real estate. And that's very true. The difference between Christie's and Sotheby's is that Sotheby's is owned by, well, the real estate division is owned by Rheology, which is a completely different company brand from the auction division. So there is no shared value between the, um, the real estate and the auction division. Not the case with Christie's. Christie's publishes incredible content in their magazine, in their blog, their luxury defined white papers. On their website, they highlight videos of top sales that they just completed. Like for example, the Da Vinci, um, portrait that sold for $450 million. 
last week they just closed on I think a triceratops 600 year 600 million year old uh, dinosaur artifact that closed for 45 million dollars so these are the fabulous stories that Christie's curates and the one thing that everyone consistently is interested in is what the wealthy are doing and that's one thing that Christie's can report on is what the wealthy are doing and how they're living and what they're looking for and their trends which is why it's very important for you guys to take advantage of this luxury specialist conference that's coming up November 17th and 18th, because that is the perfect platform for you to understand and learn directly from the source on what those resources are. All right, so in furthering the conversation of these resources, Christie's offers some really great um, upfront value adds to these, these top multi-million dollar properties. Client letters. I cannot stress how fabulous and, and meaningful it is to send a letter from Christie's directly. Um, they, will, they, will, they will write a complimentary considering listing, considering an agent, recently listed letter within 48 hours of the request. The asterisk to this is, is that right now with COVID, they're not sending physical letters in the mail like they used to do through FedEx. It's, it is a PDF coming through email that will resume mid next year apparently that's something that they're working on but um the letter is wonderful a lot of agents do this on a regular basis um you can ask you can send an email to me to do it for you or you can go directly to Catherine pardo she's our regional vice president rick Mosier's assistant she will respond back very quickly with the proof of that letter the letters are pre-written there's not very much room to customize it it is signed by dan khan the president ceo of christie's but um, it, it, does make a, it does make a big impact having a letter coming from Christie's recommending you as a, an agent for the listing. It, does make it, it definitely does set you apart from others that are presenting for that listing. The Christie's magazine is fantastic. I, I hope you have all seen a copy of this magazine and reviewed it. We advertise in every issue. It's, it's produced four times a year. Um, with beautiful themes, great content in there uh, from travel to real estate, of course, uh, lifestyle articles that, you know, that, that are really fantastic to share with your clients. Christie's, is not a, Christie's Magazine is not for sale or available on shelves. It's not at Barnes & Noble. It's only available to you, at, you specifically as an affiliate of Harry Norman and Christie's International Real Estate. So when those magazines come into the company, grab copies of them, them and insert a short personalized letter and drop them off at, like I said, preferred distribution areas around town or to your clients. Create a little spreadsheet of your client's address, addresses and send them to them you know, directly. They'll appreciate that. That is a beautiful publication that really truly um, is some of the best content around and available specifically for Christie's. Social media and PR feature opportunities. Um, if you guys have extraordinary properties that may, meet some of their themes that they publish, log into the website and upload your content and submit your information to them directly. They provide a calendar on the Christie's Extranet that is a rolling daily theme, a list of themes that they're looking for, whether it's private islands or lakefront or it's um, houses with helipads or whatever their crazy themes are. Keep in mind, these are, these are properties from around the world. And Christie's does work with clients, clients and brokerages that do list those exotic, very um, extraordinary type properties. So some of the themes don't always match up. But also too, the one thing that Christie's will do and they actually encourage is if your property has an interesting or unique story, send that to them and tell them about that house and they will create a, a, um, a theme around your property. So look at that, review some of the uh, review some of the themes. And if you need any assistance with that, please let me know. I'm happy to help you, but it's very easy to submit. Uh, the one thing that is a paid opportunity for Christie's is digital media and Facebook advertising for as low as $99 per week. They will list, uh, they will create a geo-targeted ad to a, a Christie's real estate preset audience inside and outside of their network. They will provide you with traffic analytics for that, uh, that ad campaign, as well as paid advertisements on their Facebook campaign, uh, Facebook, Facebook pages. So they do offer some really great uh, digital opportunities for very reasonable rates. Uh, I would encourage you guys to look at the Luxury Affiliate Resource Guide and um, review those and the details around them. For $99, that is a no-brainer. 
um, that gets you in their digital campaign. These are ads, just to clarify what those ads look like. When you're online on you know, a search engine or a website, Amazon, whatever it is, the digital targeted ads are those drop down boxes or banner or leaderboards, headers and footers that you see on the bottoms of the website that pop in or slide down. Those are what those are. And they're, they're branded to Christie's and your listing specifically. So you know, to, to, to pay to have those done outside of Christie's is, is pricey. We know we do that through the company for you guys, but they already offer these templates. It's a, it's a very easy plug and play. Um, so I encourage you guys to uh, look at those opportunities. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the questions here, guys. Make sure that you are all good. Good, okay. We have, a, we have a quiet bunch. Fabulous. All right. Are there any questions about Christie's? I mean, these are just a few things that they offer, guys. This, I, I don't want to overwhelm you with, with too much content. These are what they offer at a complimentary to almost free affordable, um, you know, options for you guys to take advantage of. So, um, you know, look through them and familiarize yourself. These are available, like I said, in the resource guide. All right, no more questions. I will move on to our next affiliate. Uh, Leading RE and Lux VT. These are additional resources um, and they're very different. Leading RE is obviously our relocation division of our company that's what manages our incoming and outgoing referrals. Uh, your, your listing is going to be on their website automatically at all price points. They do offer a featured property program that is a dedicated six month marketing package um, available to, uh, uh, I think the price point for that is $499,000 $499, plus. So there is a threshold for that. But the price of that, I think the cost is around $499, around 500 bucks to, um, to sign your clients up for that. It's very easy to do. This is specifically for properties that you guys have that you feel would be a good fit for a relocation type client. They do have a vast network of 130,000 sales agents and I think 544 uh, firms around the world. So this would be a great program to activate at a minimal cost, just for a little bit of extra traffic and visibility. If your listing has been around for six months or a year and your clients are getting scratchy, this is a very affordable um, program to sign them up for. Leading RE also provides really fantastic uh, global market stats that are great to share with your clients. They have wonderful webinars and training um, programs for you, for, you, for you guys. We run our HN Institute through Leading RE and um, all of our CE classes. So um, that's, that's part of Leading RE program. They offer free courses taught by Mike Staber and uh, Buffini and um, other keynote speakers that are at zero cost to you, uh, whether they're CE or not. So check out the Leading RE program. LuxVT, if you're not familiar, is a third party service. They came to me about six years ago now uh, when they first started their program. And it is a digital marketing program that they create a landing page for you. The URL can be the address of the property. So it can be 1925westpacesferry.com is, is what your URL can be. Um, and, they, and they basically feed that through to a list of various websites. Um, and they build, they do uh, paid Facebook ads for um, uh, earned impressions. They, um, they'll do a video tour for you. It's a lot, there's a whole package of different options that they offer. The one thing about LuxVT is that they have price thresholds and I'm not, I'm not hundred percent on what those are now, but I think for say $600,000 and below, it's a pay it close price for $600,000 and above it's a pay it close price. And if the listing doesn't sell or comes off the market, you don't pay um, that closing, that closing fee. So what I typically tell agents about this program is that it's kind of a, a gap filler. Um, so if your listing is under the million dollar threshold, kind of in between like a 750 price point, LuxVT is a really great program because it does syndicate through to uh, platforms like the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, so forth and so on. So if your clients are wanting to have their listing on those various websites, though this is the platform that will put, it on, put them on there and get you that extra visibility. However, there is a cost to it. But long term, it's minimal compared to, you know, losing the listing or um, not getting that visibility for your clients. I have created a negotiated rate for agents for Harry Norman. 
The link is um, here on this presentation. It's also available on my h &R office on the, um, the h &R tools, the white box on the top right corner of my h &R office. There's a link to the landing page. So if you want more information or to sign your clients up, be sure to go through that Harry Norman landing page to get that discounted rate. It is a considerable discount, so be sure to use that, that link. Are there any questions, guys? Still doing okay? Okay. All right. We're ending a little bit early on this, but here is our luxury affiliate resource guide for agents. Um, I just updated this uh, this past month for you all. It is a fantastic resource, page by page of resources uh, of everything I've spoken plus more to include login credentials, social media information for these different affiliates. The LuxVT program is available here um, in this guide, information about that. So this is a great guide to familiarize yourself. We probably more than likely will not be printing this out this year um, for a lot of reasons, but we will we'll be hosting the link on my HR office as well as sending it out directly to you. I encourage you guys to put it on your, your home screen on your phone. So if you're in your car waiting for the presentation, you're able to uh, go in and, and you know thumb to that page with that information and, and, and you, know, you know get current on what to present. There's some great tools about presenting in this guide as well. Um, so there we are. That is the presentation. We were a little bit early, but I wanted to leave some time for you guys to ask questions. Anyone want to unmute and throw some stuff in here for me? Neil, you're quiet. That's rare. <laughs> Anything? Brooke? Anthony, you've been really supportive. You've put in a lot of questions. Ariel, anything about social media? How about how about our PR firm and um, you giving some quotes yesterday for a magazine for a publication? Anything around that? Alex, I do have a quick question. I know that you've said that when we have listings, it goes to hundreds of sites. I heard someone say it's four hundred. Is that? That sounds about right. I mean, I, oh. I, I mean. You know, our numbers change on that because we have partners and affiliations with websites. So every year it changes. I know that Melissa Gailey, who writes our toolkit CMA, just updated that sheet. I know that it's definitely it's definitely more than 100. So that 450 sounds about right. I know at one point it was around 600. But, you know, websites come and go and we have different relationships. So I would reference the toolkit. I, I don't get involved in that. I submit content and, and, you know, numbers and stats. But I think that sounds about right. Okay. But, but the one thing that is great about Harry Norman is that we do have a paid membership with, with um, Zillow and Trulia. So we are sending them correct information, whereas other firms don't necessarily because it's not cheap to have a paid membership with them. And we also have a direct line to their tech support through our, our, um, our IT department. So if a listing goes through and it's the wrong content or the estimates off or whatever, there's always a problem with Zillow. Um, we can contact them and have that fixed very, very swiftly for you guys because clients are going to, they're going to look for their listing. They're going to go in after hours late at night and they're going to seek it out. They're going to see what you're doing. And that's why that one sheet that I was talking about that shows all the different syndications is important for you to go and pull those, those links to that listing and send them to your clients. Your clients don't need to know that you're not paying to advertise specifically on those sites. We're doing it for you. They need to know that your listing is on the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, there's various websites and publications. So I can't, I can't stress how important that is to share information with your clients. Agents come to me every day with, you know, we're creeping up on the three month zone or the six month range of our listing and they're getting antsy and they're getting aggressive about what we're doing. I'm like, well, have you done this? Have you sent them a traffic report? Have you sent them a link to the listings? Have you posted it on Twitter? Have you requested to be featured on Harry Norman, your office, your personal page? And usually nine times out of 10, the question, the answer is no. And these are all resources that you guys have at your fingertips. So, I mean, whether you're at the million dollar, $500,000, the thing about our luxury affiliates, whatever your price point may be, is that Atlanta specifically is getting a lot of people relocating from New York, from LA, from London, from wherever, because we're a major hub for relocation for major companies and jobs. People are flocking to Atlanta from New York just to get space and safety. So 
you know, the thing is with those markets, their, you know, their values, their homes are, you know, much higher than ours. So they're able to dr drop their price points down to buy a very nice home here in Atlanta, maybe a nice home here in Atlanta and in Blue Ridge, and maybe in 30A. So we're getting a lot of cross traffic coming in from these luxury affiliates, from Christie's specifically, because people in New York City are very familiar with Christie's. It's based in New York. And they're finding our listings, our properties, our, our, our agents through those platforms. So you know, Christie's um, luxury portfolio, luxury real estate pays a lot of money for SEO, millions of dollars a year. And that's why I can't stress how important it is to have your bio and your profile uploaded. Yeah. Yes, Anthony? Also, um, the movie industry um, is big here in Atlanta. And with all the fires and taxes and um, the higher um, um, prices there, they come into Atlanta, which to them is a much better buy. And uh, so we're getting a lot of those here too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're able to adjust their price points down and buy you know, multiple homes, maybe a, a you know, primary and a, and, a, and a real estate investment, like a condo at one of the, you know, metropolises or one of the ones that you sell, Anthony. <laughs> Guys, are there any more questions? I see we're dropping off and we're, we're fatiguing a little bit, but I want to, you got me, let's, let's, let's go through some stuff if you want. Yeah, Alex, just a quick question Rachel, Hi, Rachel. of what you just said about Zillow. So when we as agents see something that is Zillow's error, um, for example, last Friday, they were pulling the wrong time for my open house. Um, yeah. Which is very strange. We checked MLS and everything. What can we do as an agent? Um, you said we have a direct connection. Who should we reach out to? Yeah, put, it, put in a ticket through my HR office. Put in an IT support ticket so an and tell them what's going on. Yeah. For, yeah, for, I mean, Daryl, who works at corporate, he will, um, he'll jump on it. Or Brian, he'll jump on it and say, hey, guys, get it fixed. You're, you're, you know, you're promoting the wrong times or the, you know, the wrong square footage or... You know, stuff that gets sent through the feed typically is correct. Um, you know, obviously open houses, sometimes they're done after the fact. I mean, look, here's, here's my advice on, and open houses, I know you guys plan those after the listing goes live, obviously. But it's really important when you're putting a listing in the system to put as much information as you can in upfront, because that initial feed that's sent through to Christie's and then to uh, the Wall Street Journal, that's the strongest feed. Those update feeds that happen every night, that's not all the information. So you want to put that all in up front if you can. If you've got the video and, and uh, the blueprints and whatever it is, put that in up front. Because a lot of times those websites, once it goes into their, to their, their, um, their website, it doesn't get a second update. So a lot of times you'll find on those websites that the price may be off a little bit. And it takes a week or two for that to adjust. And there's nothing worse than your client going in online and finding their property and it being the wrong information. But yes, to your question, Rachel, um, put in a ticket to IT and they'll fix it for you. Alex, Anything you else, anyone? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah, you, know, you mentioned bios quite, yes. you know, a few times. If we have a bio on HNR, does that it doesn't copy onto luxury affiliates or Christie's? You know what, Neil? I'd love to be. I'd love to to, to tell you yes, but I'm not going to lie to you. We've had some issues with HNR uh, profile, and what happens? What 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 it's supposed to happen is HNR profile is once you put your everything in there, your headshot, your contact, your social, your bio, whatever it is, it should automatically feed through to the applicable sites: Christie's, luxury portfolio, luxury real estate. Um, a month or a couple months back, we had some, some issues with um, some hacking with, with, with HR profile. So they had to stop that. So, so really right now, it's up to you to go into those platforms. And there's only really two, mm -hmm. Christie's and Luxury Real Estate, and just cut and paste your bio. It's very easy to do. And then there's a, it'll ask you to check a box where it'll freeze that data from being um, updated. So if a new feed comes in and the feed doesn't have your bio in it, it won't delete that, that profile. Okay, thank you. But the more information you have in these websites, the better SEO you get. So fill in those boxes with as much as you possibly can um, because that, that, helps that, that helps your profile to trend. And I, I got to be honest, I mean, agent clients will go and they'll look you up. They will Google you. And if you have a big white box in the middle of your Christie's profile, that, that's a killer. That's a, that's a presentation killer for sure. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Anyone else?